OK, uh, welcome to our uh, first lab of this uh, data visualization class. Uh, so this lab, we will get familiar with the interface of the Tableau desktop. So Tableau is one of the most famous and popular BI tools. And we will get familiar with Tableau desktop. And also we will see that how we can create some very simple data visualizations like create sheets and also dashboard in Tableau. So first, let's download the data. So that is from my, my GitHub repository. And that is a diamonds uh, Excel file. So let's just hit download. Uh, so by default, it will be downloaded to your download folder. So um, if I go to my downloads folder, and you can see it's here. Uh, so however, for this class, I highly recommend we put everything in our OneDrive folder. So you can see here I have already installed OneDrive folder. So let me just cut this uh, Excel file and I go to my OneDrive folder. And you can see here I put all my previous uh, uh, project files of my previous classes into this OneDrive because I can access those data and also those uh, materials um, anywhere as long as I have internet access. So I'm going to create a new folder for this class. So that I340 and this is um, 2021 spring semester. And again, I will create another folder I call lab one. So I will put everything okay, in the lab one folder. So that is the data and also Excel file. OK, so now I have the data ready. So now I start the Tableau desktop. So when I am recording this video, I think the latest version of the Tableau is 2020.4. Uh, so if I go to help, about Tableau. Yeah, so that is the version I'm using. And I'm also using an education education license. So if you don't have Tableau, so you can go to um, the website on this lab instruction to request an educate license. So if you're a professor, or if you're a student, or an educator. Okay, so this is a Tableau desktop interface. You can see you can connect to different resources. For example, you can connect to the server. You can connect to different files. So the, the supported file like Excel file, uh, JSON, uh, PDF, even the ship file. You can also connect to a server. So like um, like database, um, data warehouse, data lake, etc. So we all try to connect different type of the data resource later in this semester. Um, and also, if we go back, you can see here are the previous um, project that I created. Uh, you can also load some examples here. So those are pre-loaded, uh, uh, I think, installed on your computers. OK, uh, so let's connect to our data set because our data is an Excel file. So let's choose connect to an Excel file. And the first you have to tell where your Excel file, Excel file is. So we're in that uh, OneDrive folder. OK, so let's find out our uh, 2021 and lab one. And here you can see the Excel file is here. OK, so that is diamond Excel file. So let's open it. So now this Excel file has been loaded into Tableau. Uh, in that Excel file, there are two sheets. So you can see those two sheets. One is a diamond and one is legend. So legend contains um, those mental data. So tell you what each columns are talking about. So let's drag the diamonds. So if you drag that one into uh, this empty field so you can see we have a preview of our data so we have the id of each single record which is each each single diamond record 
we have the weight we have the color so the type of the color of the diamond and I think uh, D is the highest the best color and also I'm not sure F or J other um, other uh, words so not that good color so and also clarity um, I think VVS1 is, uh, is the best clarity of the diamond and also raters so they are different agents that give the price for those diamond and also price okay and on the top you can see the uh, the data type so the tableau recognized those data types so for the ID it is number integer which is right uh, for the weight so it is decimal number for the color it is a string okay and for the others they are also string and also number so those are all right and we can see this is a very small data set uh, we have only 300 rows okay uh, so here you can change the name so if you double click you can change the name of those each columns or each fields you can also change the data type uh, but since now they are all accurate so we are not going to change the data type uh, you can also add the filters at this step so if you have very huge data set you can filter some of the data okay so for example if i just want the color that is i so you can do the filter here but right now i'm not going to add any filter you can also keep a live connection so that means you are constantly you are only read data from the excel file directly or you can extract the data into an extract format okay so remember in the lecture that the extract data that in tableau is tde format or the hyper format so let's try to extract data in this um, let's try to use extract first and now if we go to our sheet so that means we're going to create our first visualization before we do that you can see here they're asking okay so where do you want to save the extract format again uh, so I think right now the only hyper format is supported so let's save the extract format into the same folder okay to the same folder of our data set so lab one okay so that is the hyper that your data extracted format in tableau so that can speed up the queries in tableau uh, we will not see the real difference here because we have very small data set however so just give you a demo that how we can create the extract okay so now we have our the first sheet which is empty so let's also save the the sheet so let's save it so now you can see we uh, let's save that one to our OneDrive folder as well okay lab one so let's call it lab one and here you can see you have two options the TWB is a workbook so that a default format which does not contain the data if you want to save that into the TWBX so that will contain the data so that is like a zipped file so let's use the first one and let's save it so now in your data set in your folder in your OneDrive folder um, we should have uh, three files okay so we have the diamond excel file that I downloaded uh, from the github we have a twb that is a tableau workbook and we have this diamond.hyper so that is tableau extract so that is data that extracted from this excel file because that will make the, the tableau uh, uh, faster all right so now let's go back to our tableau and on the left side you can see the date pin and you can see the tableau divide the data into two categories on the top those are what they called um, the dimensions okay now they don't have the dimension showing here so so the dimensions those are all the categorical data like those strings color clarity or fit readers so those are the categorical data 
And below that, those are the measures. measures. So measures are all the quantitative data, like ID, price, and also weight. They also have a calculated field, so that is the number of the records. Okay, so those are the quantitative data. So those are the uh, green and also categorical data. Those are in blue. So you may be wondering, like for the ID, so the IDs are numbers, but they should be categorical data because you don't want a plus ID. You don't want to use one ID plus another ID. So we can drag this one into dimension. Okay, so that now, so they are still numbers, but ID are now considered dimensions or the categorical data. Uh, we also have like the save and also you can undo. Okay. Um, and also you can see here those menus. So we'll go through those menus later. And here those have different cards. So in Tableau, you can just drop and you can just drag and also drop each field into different card okay and we have two shelves so the columns and also rows so those are where we can organize our visualizations that in this sheet uh, you can also see the show me okay the show me uh, menu will allow you to create some visualizations depending on the data that you selected so for example if i just select the reader, the, uh, the, uh, vo the only available uh, visualization is create a table. So if you click table, <clears throat> you see here we have the table that shows the different readers. And if I drag the count into the text, you can see that number of the records in different readers. Okay. <clears throat> And if you drag the count, let's say into color, okay, and you can see the color has been changed. And if you drag that one into the columns, so here we just have a bar chart that shows a number of the records in different by different readers. <clears throat> okay, you can see it's very easy to create visualizations. And if you switch, you can now see we can, I can also create a bar chart, a pie chart on the tree map. Okay, or even a bubble chart. Okay, so you can try see different types of the visualizations. Uh, for this lab, I would just use a very simple uh, bar chart. Okay. And for this bar chart, you can also sort the data. Okay, uh, you can also adjust the width of the data so that if I want to see the, the entire name of the reader. Okay, and you can also drag the, the field into different uh, mark, uh, different cards here. For example, if I want to put a uh, reader, give it different colors. And you can do that. And now you have a legend. And again, for this bar chart, it is not necessary. So let's put that one out. OK. And you can give the title. So you can say sheet one if you double click. And you can give the title. For, the, for example, this one is, let's see, number of records per reader. OK. And you can change the format. Etc. All right, so that is our first uh, sheet. And also, you can change that. Do you want fit length, the height, or the entire view? Okay, so let's just use the standard one. Okay, so that is a single sheet. So, sheet is uh, the basic. Um, you need that you can design uh, your visualizations or design your single chart. So here we just create one sheet. Let's continue create another sheet. So let's click this one. So let's let's create a new worksheet. 
And this time, let's say we want to see the price. So if I double click the price, and you can see by default, we have the total of the price. <clears throat> okay, so that is sum of the price of all the records. So if I right click and then view the data, you can see that is the number of the price. Okay, that's your total of the prices. And if I see the full data, so that gives you, okay, how you get to those numbers. Okay, so that's simply that we add up all the rows together and we have this single value. Okay, so however, I want to see the price for each clarity. Okay, so how can I do that? So I can drag the clarity into the column. Okay, so now I can say I have the total price in each clarity. I can also rotate this chart where I can put price into columns and also clarity into the rows. Okay, and now we can we can also sort the clarity and we can say VVS2 has the highest the total of the price, which does not make sense, right? Because RF should be the highest price. That is because we are looking at the total price. So if we want to see the average price, so now if I switch this one, so now you can see by default, we are looking at average price, uh, the total price. So now if we switch that one to average, so now we can see the RF has higher average price, still not the highest. Okay, we know that RF is a is the highest level of the clarity okay but it does not have the highest average price in this data set in this data set it's very interesting that vs2 has the highest average price okay so it it does not sound right but let's keep that one as right now and we will resolve this problem later <coughs> this this semester so normally the diamond with RF should ha should have the higher price. Okay, so let's keep that uh, keep that question in mind, and also we let's resolve that question later this semester. And let's give the title. Let's call it the average price per clarity. Okay, so that is our second sheet. Let's create our last sheet. So the last sheet, we want to see that how the price is related to the weight. So if I double click, <clears throat> okay, so I have this chart that shows that uh, this is a scat plot. However, we only have one single uh, point. That is because by default, uh, Tableau aggregate the result. So here we are looking at the sum of the price versus the sum the sum of the weight. So if we want to see the individual records, we can drag the IDs into the detail. Okay, so now we can see for each individual record, we can see the price versus the weight. We can see if the price is higher if the weight is bigger, the price is higher. So that makes sense. Another way to do that is that we can go to the analysis and we can just uncheck these aggregate measures. Okay, so now we are looking at the records at individual, at each individual record level. Okay. And we can also put the, the, uh, the color into the column a card so we drag the color field into color card okay and now you can see we have different legend okay color d e f etc and we can also drag color into the filters so let's drag that one into the filter and we want to include all the colors and now if we choose to show the filter Okay, and now you can see if I just want to show the specific colors, and we can do that. Okay, and that's very nice. And you can even choose uh, the format of this uh, filter. So let's choose a 
drop down list. Okay, and that is for the colors. And you can also add the trend lines. So for example, if I add trend lines, and you can see they add trend lines for each single color. If I drag the color out and I have just one single trend line, and here you can see that uh, we do see a positive relationship between the price and weight. The R square is almost 90%. Okay. Uh, so let's remove the trend line and let's, let's add the color back. Okay. So let's, let's call this sheet is um, price versus weight. Okay, price versus weight. Okay, uh, so now we have three sheets. Okay, so finally we can combine all those sheets as a dashboard. So right now you can see here we can create a new dashboard. So dashboard is where you can combine your multiple sheets together. So let's drag the first bar chart here. And for the second sheet, you can see, uh, you can de decide where do you want to put this bar chart. So let's say we put that on the right side. And for the last one, let's say we want to put that one at the bottom. Okay, uh, actually let's put that one at the bottom beneath both chart. Okay, so now we have this uh, dashboard. Uh, you can also create a title for the dashboard if you like. So let's see, we call it this one, lab one. Okay. And it is the best practice that you put the, the filter and also legend next to your visualization. So let's move the, the filter. And also let's move the legend. OK. OK, so now it looks like much better. OK, uh, so here we have a dashboard and um, <clears throat> that have all those sheets and also we have all those necessary titles uh, legend uh, you can also adjust uh, the view for example if I want this one to be entire view okay and we can do that uh, we can also enable those um, bar chart as filters so that is also very important in Tableau uh, because that will allow you to do some interactive analysis. So for example, if I enable this one as a, a filter. So now if I click uh, the markers, you can see the other sheet also updated. So for example, if I click IGI, and for the all the other two sheets, they are only display the data for the IGI. Okay, so that is very powerful. And we can also enable this one as a filter. So now if we just look at IF and also versus the VS2. Okay, so hopefully now this can give you an idea that why the diamond of IF have a lower average price. That is because most of those diamonds are small diamonds. Although they have very high level of the clarity, but they are very small in size. And now if you look at the VS2, which should be the lowest level of the clarity, but those diamonds are very bigger. So that's why they have higher average price. Okay. And for this filter, we have this filter and we can also apply this filter to all the other sheets that are using this data. Okay, so now if I see if I just want to see the color of D, and you can see HRD has a, a few diamonds that in color D. If you look at color I, okay, 
And we can see HR did still have a lower uh, few records of Kali. OK, so that is also another very powerful function in Tableau that allow us to create those interactive filters. All right. And finally, let's say we want to export our visualization. So if you want to export each individual sheet, you can go to the sheet worksheet and also you can export that one. So you, um, as a image. Or you can just copy the image and or you can paste that one into a Word document. Uh, if you want to export the dashboard, and you can go to dashboard and you can export this dashboard. Okay. Uh, later on, you can see that we can also publish this one to our ArcGIS or to Tableau, sorry, Tableau Online. We can also uh, upload the sheet or the dashboard to the Tableau public. So we will see that one later. Okay, so now let's for this lab, let's upload and uh, to export this dashboard. Let's export image. Again, let's go to save that one to lab one. And you can see by default, we, we can save that one into PNG format. Of course, you can see, choose the other format if you like. So let's use, let's call this one lab one.png format and let's save it. And let's also save our workbook and let's close Tableau. So right now, <coughs> uh, you should have this PNG file and you should have this Excel file, Hyper file and also TWB file. OK, so now let's open the PNG file. You can see that is a dashboard that we just exported. OK. You just need to submit this one on Canvas uh, as your submission for lab one. 